Ever wondered how data is transmitted across different media? Please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Today, we dive into the fascinating world of telecommunications and wireless communications. We're going to delve into the WGU course, Introduction to Telecom and Wireless Communications D413. This course is like a treasure chest, filled with knowledge about the science, technologies, and standards that make it possible for data to journey across diverse media. We're talking about an adventure that takes us through the realms of data encoding and decoding, and analog and digital transmissions. Our exploration won't be limited to just wired and fiber technologies. We'll also venture into wireless, cellular, and satellite technologies. The aim is to understand not just the what, but also the how of data transmission. Remember, this course is not just about theories. It's about applying these concepts in real-world scenarios. Now, let's delve into the structure and planning of the course. The course planning tool plays a vital role here. It helps gauge what you already know before you dive into the course. Plus, it aids you and your program mentor in calculating how long it will take you to complete the course. The course competencies are twofold. Determine how to transmit data and design network infrastructure with telecommunication standards. This course is worth three competency units and includes a pre-assessment and an objective assessment. Each assessment comprises 55 multiple choice questions and you're given 120 minutes to complete it. The pre-assessment is a useful tool for determining your readiness and identifying your weak areas. However, it's important to note that the questions do not change, so taking it more than three times is not recommended. And remember, to pass all assessments, you need a score of either competent or exemplary. Remember, passing a pre-assessment does not guarantee you will pass the high-stakes assessment. Let's explore some of the resources and tips that can help you succeed in this course. The course is divided into two sections and an overview, further broken down into 18 lessons. A normal pace would see you working through four to six lessons each week, with an additional week or two set aside for review and practice exams. The course usually takes between four to six weeks to complete. But remember, the pace can be accelerated if you're comfortable with the material. However, if your practice exam scores and pre-assessment score aren't up to par, Take the time to review and meet with your course instructor. This course currently doesn't have any cohorts. Additional information and resources can be found in the Announcement tab and Course Tips, located on the right side of the page, under Instructors. The Course Chatter is a great place to read and add comments from other students. Remember, the key to success in this course is understanding the material, not just memorizing it.